Okay, so today is Monday the 20th, and the video is actually kind of for a, a two-day uh, event because as we go, um, if you take a look at it, all of the work that you're doing today, besides the participation, will be turned in on Tuesday. So let's get started. You should have a data table that looks like this. This is what we went from Friday. We had the time of day, uh, the dry bulb or air temperature, wet bulb, and you would filled in the depression, the dew point, and the relative humidity. Then if you open up the RH slash DP data table and graph, excuse me, it looks something like this. And this is what you need to fill in. And depending upon how you are with your um, computer skills, this may be either really easy or really tedious. So I'm going to attempt to show you how to do it easy. So for the air temperature, if we go back to this data table, our air temperature or dry bulb, if we highlight that, and if we right click on it, we can copy, or it'll let us do a control C. Either way, if we copy it and we go over here and put it our cursor on the one air temperature at 1 p.m., we can right click um, and paste, or we can do a control V, and that will put it in for you. Uh, the box is around the numbers, it does not matter, those are just borders. Next, we need a dew point, and we are going to take our dew point, we are going to copy it. We can paste in our dew point, and I'm doing the shortcuts of the control C and control V. Just doing this quick to show you so you don't have to watch me do this. And as soon as you have that in, if you look down here on the bottom, I already have this set up to make a chart for you. Now notice I have no labels. These have to be numbers, no labels. And when you click on the chart, there's the chart for you. Um, so you can take a look at it, the relative humidity. Here's what happens to the relative humidity. It goes up and then it drops down and levels off and starts to go up. Air temperature, you can see what happens to the air temperature. And then the dew point, you can see what happens to the dew point. Um, so that will, I, this is what I'm looking for, sorry. That will hopefully make your life easier. I'm giving you time if you have some issues. These have to be numbers. If you put in percentages or uh, degrees Celsius or anything, it will not work. So in order for that graph to work, we have to have numbers. Then if we take a look at the questions, if we open that up, and I already had that open, but I have just 10 quick questions and they're kind of redundant or they kind of ask the same thing again and again and again. Uh, but hopefully we can start tying some things together. And what I would like you to do is to, um, where are we at here? Sorry, this one. I would like you to uh, take a copy of the chart or you can do a screenshot or however you want and put it on the bottom of this worksheet. And I'm going to have it go unlinked, which just plops the chart. So then I can see you did that. Okay. So that is for Monday the 20th. Um, my participation for Monday is different than Tuesday is going to be turning in this worksheet, answering those questions and turning it in. So this video is for the 20th. Have a merry Monday.